Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for tuning in to the 49th episode of J Talks Crypto. And in this episode, we're going to be reviewing Should We Buy the Gecko Science Compact F in 2022? Why or why not? What are the drawbacks? What are the, what are the, what is the profitability? That's the question everyone loves, right? <clears throat> anyway. So I actually compiled some data and I showed what the returns would be um, using a compact app at a couple different common settings uh, with real world results from slush pool. And then um, I'm also comparing them, those results to what is available using like this website called Crypto Compare to see if it's anywhere even close. So, should I buy it? Like, I'll, I'll give you guys the, uh, the, the quick lowdown. In a best case scenario, at, if you can find it, I think usually they're around $250. And let's say you get it anywhere from 250 giga hashes to 330 giga hashes, like, It'll take you, if you can overclock it properly to um, over 330 giga hashes, assuming that you have all of the infrastructure you need to get the, the thing to hash that fast, it'll take you about 10 years, like 9.9 .9 years to ROI. If you get it running at around 250, it'll take you about 13 years to ROI. So. Just want, want want to give you guys a spoiler alert on this video. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I'll post up a picture of the graph so you can kind of like see. Um, but pretty much uh, from January 1st through the 8th, Slush Pool is mined about 64 blocks. Um, if you were running uh, one tower hash, uh, you would for you know for that whole first week you would have seen about dollar sixty six in revenue or about three thousand nine hundred in four satoshis. Um, if you had five hundred giga hash, which technically this uh, this stick can do, if you have like all the proper gear to to run it, I'll explain that a little bit more in a little in it, towards the end of the video. Um, that's uh, you get about uh, one thousand nine hundred fifty two satoshis. Um, if you get it to 330 giga hashes, which I think this, uh, it's a reasonable assumption for this stick, assuming everything is, uh, you know, relatively problem free. Um, that's about 1300 Satoshis. And um, if you can pretty much just run it at like the base, like what I would consider the base clock, um, <clears throat> that's a 250 giga hashes, um, you're getting 976 Satoshis. Oh, so one of the other things that I did over here, so it's like with uh, with one tire hash, if you mine for a week, you know, you're, you're averaging about 488 Satoshis a day, right? And, you know, sometimes a lot of people like watch this channel and be like, yo, why the hell are you guys going so hard uh, over mining these uh, minimal amounts of sats, right? So, you know, I just kind of did like a little comparison over here. So this is like, like literally just eight days of having a miner um, <clears throat> just running, it's like, you know, like you say, you 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 had it for like uh for for like a week, you decided to mine, and you just left it there. Um, you would have mined thirty nine hundred satoshis. You know, that's um a a dollar sixty six at the current prices using um forty two five hundred uh forty two thousand five hundred with BTC at like sixty k. That's like 234. At 75, that's 293. At 100K, that's 390. At 500,000, that's 1952. And at a million, that's a 3904 for just running like a handful of USB sticks for a week. So that kind of like helps put things in perspective because if you kind of like believe in the Bitcoin thesis, you believe that over the long term it's going to go to those price levels so it's like if you ask me like oh yeah why are you doing this that's why oh and then i was going to compare 
uh, the results, the real world slush pool results, and I um, I'm gonna use uh, crypto compare. Um, so you know I put in 500 giga hashes. Uh, they're saying that uh, you should mine approximately 262 uh, sats per day. Um, my real world results were uh, 244 sats per day uh, with that. Um, <clears throat> so theirs was a little bit higher. I've noticed that sometimes um, the real world results are actually usually a little bit higher than what you get on these mining sites. Uh, but when there's uh, drastic changes in or around the difficulty period or when the, when the difficulty adjustment just happened, um, the mining cal calculator calculators are a little bit off and yeah so should you buy it um i would say that there's a, a lot of things that you got to take into account um because if like let's say you could just get the stick for 250 dollars right do you have all of the necessary parts in order to actually run run it properly like do you have a good usb hub um do you have uh that's the main thing, honestly. Actually, no, and then the Raspberry Pi as well. Do you have one laying around, or do you got um? Do you need to get that? As, do you get? Do you need to get that too? Because it doesn't run well on Windows. Um, <clears throat> I've also been reading reports on like Discord and a couple of other places, and you know they say like the same thing, where it's like uh, even if you do get it to run on Windows decently, uh, it eats up all of the resources on your computer or something like that. So your computer runs like shit. Um, and it's just, apparently it's not, it's not a good experience on windows. So that's another thing that you got to take into account. So it's just like, will you ROI on it? Probably not. Um, one of the ways I ROI on it was because I got them from mine farm by like the dude had like a nine pack for like $800, which works out to like $90 a stick or something like that. So I sold a three pack on eBay for like what I paid for it. So it's like I essentially got like six, six, uh, six, uh, six sticks for free. So, you know, that's kind of like lit, uh, you know, it's just like, I got like new gen efficient hardware for, for free essentially. I mean, I, you know, I did pay for, for like a couple of the gecko science hubs, but you know, that's like, I already had the infrastructure in place, if you know what I mean. Um, and you know, like I said, that was something, that's something that you got to take into account. If you're like itching to ROI, are you going to buy this device? No, this is definitely like a hobbyist kind of thing, unless you can get them for a really, really good price. And, um, maybe if you want to flip one or two and then you kind of like think about it like that. Anyway, uh, this video is getting kind of long. Thanks for tuning in. This is J Talks Crypto and I'm signing off.